So I co-organize a uh, meetup called Product Tank here in Brisbane, and I was chatting with the um, sort of founders and operators of the group out of London the other day, and they were asking how I had gone about extracting um, sort of members out of out of the list here of, of Meetup to, to understand the role breakdown. So the reason I do this is Meetup doesn't actually give you a lot of information. They're quite good at just giving you the minimum. They don't give you emails or anything like that. So they just, a lot of people don't even put their full name in. Um, but the reason that we want to do this is we want to tell our speakers, like our mission as a, as a group is to get really good speakers in. Um, we have free events and basically, um, you know, we just want to inspire uh, product managers and owners and um, you know but to do that we need to give the speakers a kind of a breakdown on what their audience is going to be like you know what how many product managers and owners and UX people and like executives and things like that so um, the way I've accomplished that is you can go into meetup and it's easy enough to download your your member list so that's um, what I've done there and, um, and I'm gonna crack that open here And all right, so then basically what you do is you just um, what I would do is is uh, filter. Let's see if I can downsize this a tad. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and filter it sort of just to to Brisbane, and I'll explain why in just a sec. So then I'm gonna go through and just. Grab all these Brisbane names, like so. All right, I'm gonna copy that, and um, now I'm going to go back into the browser, and I've put this script up. And basically, what you got to do is copy uh, this script into like into Notepad, right? And I'll give the link to this in the video description. So once you've got it in Notepad. Then basically you um, you want to paste those names in there. The instructions are right here at the top. So basically it says open this file, put it in a Notepad, paste the names in, and then I'm going to talk you through the rest of the steps. Just to expedite this a little bit, I'm just going to um, just do like three names, and I'll also explain a bit about that. All right, so I'm going to copy that. So what the concept here is, is what it's going to do is um, I'm just going to go to LinkedIn fresh here. And um, see if we can actually get it to do something here. Seems a bit sluggish. So the concept is, is we're going to tee up a people search. And we're going to narrow. We're going to go ahead and filter it down to Brisbane, right? Because that's where our group is. So I want to. I want to give it constraints so that it's got the best chance of matching a name for me. So I'm going to go ahead and golly gee, when this thing loads, LinkedIn. Good grief! It's pretty heavy. <laughs> so when, once this thing loads, I'll click into the search. I'll click people search and I'll go ahead and um, filter it down to to Brisbane. And then once that's in there, I shall show you what's next. Let's apply that. All right, so then the little script gives instructions for how to get into this thing called console, which I'll do here. All right, console. All right, so basically what you want to do is paste that script in and hit enter. All right, so what it's going to start doing is it's going to start um, running searches, storing the results. Um, it's grabbing that first person off the search results. And once it's done that, it will give you a um, CSV download of those people. So I'm going to go back in here to downloads. So I should have still working on it. There we go. People eight. All right. So 
at this point, what I'll do, um, I've got, you can go in Excel, like you could see I had Excel open just a minute ago. Um, I tend to like to work in, in Google Sheets, so I am going to go and uh, get myself a blank notepad here. You can, I mean, you can open up a CSV in Excel, like whatever you want to do from this point, you've got yourself a CSV. This is just quicker for me. So I just was copy pasting a CSV into Google Sheets because I, I find that it just handle it, handles it nicely. So what we did from here is um, I created sort of like a um, another column, like category, and then I started You know, I started using consistent titles, so I'd kind of just do the best I can. So the match rate on this is like 80%, basically, or maybe 90%, because, you know, you're going to have people like John Smith or people that just put their first names, like whatever, in there, and it's not going to find those people. So you can either manually go and see if you can find them or figure out who they are, but, I mean, understanding 80% of your audience in terms of their role and the company they're with um, isn't so bad and what this little thing does is it it also puts the link in so you can cross check I found that you know sometimes it finds a person but it's just the wrong person as well like people two people with the same name in, in the same city so which can can happen but at least you know 80% there in terms of um, doing a breakdown and then you know use some uh, Excel wizardry to give, do yourself a pie chart and uh, give you speakers a, a feel for what um, what, who they're going to be talking to. Um, just to quickly explain what the script does, it's very, very basic. Um, it's kind of um, simulating typing in the search field, hitting enter, and then it just grabs the very brief text, and then it puts it in the CSV. That's literally all it does. In terms of the, like the terms of service, one, I pay for LinkedIn. Two, I'm not using this for any kind of monetary benefit whatsoever. It's free groups and all that. Three, it's an extremely good cause, giving these speakers good context on who they're talking to. So I feel pretty comfortable with, with this, especially the fact that it emulates. Um, it's not, you know, it emulates real behavior like typing in a field and hitting enter and stuff like that. So um I could just as easily be going through and manually doing this and copying and pasting into Excel, which ironically, that is what I did the first time when I did this and it took a heck of a long time. So I thought, you know, there's got to be an easier way. So that's where we are now.